everyone, it's Amy, and today we are making Fantasy Fudge, which is found on the Jet Puffed Marshmallow Cream that we all recently picked up at the Dollar Tree. Alright, so in here we got three cups of sugar. Yeah, three cups. We're going to add a stick and a half of butter and a five ounce can of of carnation evaporated milk. If it evaporated, then what's in there? <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut this butter into smaller chunks. So does that help it melt faster? Yeah. Oh, okay. Turn this over on a medium heat. You want to try to stir that evaporated milk into your sugar. So would it work as well if you like melted the butter first and then added the uh, sugar or would that uh, hurt the butter, I mean the uh, evaporated milk? I don't think it hurt it. I did wonder if you could melt it to get a head start, but I'm just going to do it as the jar says. And you're going to want to st keep stirring this until it comes to a rolling boil is what it says and then it says okay cook okay bring brown or <laughs> bring sugar butter and evaporated milk to full rolling boil in large saucepan of medium heat stirring constantly cook four minutes or until candy reaches 240 or 234 degrees Fahrenheit stirring constantly removed from heat so yeah you are going to once this comes to a rolling boil you're gonna need to well you're gonna need to stir it constantly period but you're gonna be stirring it for a while And I love this stuff. I can just eat this with a spoon. It's so good. It's already smelling good. Yeah, you can't go wrong with butter and sugar. Well, if you got it hot and lost your face in it, that'd be going wrong. <sighs> well, yeah. <laughs> Okay, once it, yeah, once it comes to a rolling boil. So I guess you cook it at four minutes at a rolling boil? Wow. That's gonna be fun. The other ingredients you're going to need for this is obviously the Jet Puff Marshmallow Cream. You're going to need vanilla. Always use pure vanilla. And then you're also going to need 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. Now this recipe does call for the Baker's Chocolate Squares, which you can also find at the Dollar Tree. Well, that's the unsweetened. <laughs> that's 
it on point and two. <laughs> don't shut my sand eyeballs on. Okay, there you go. You'll need three of those. Three packages. I just had some semi sweet chocolate chips that I need to use up, so that saves me having to chop it. So we're gonna pause until we until this comes to a rolling boil because you don't want to sit here and watch that. All right, we've got this in a rolling boil. You want the longest whisk you have when you're doing this because you will burn yourself. That pops on you, it hurts. So just a word of warning. So we're gonna keep this up for, as it said, four minutes. I've already been doing this for a minute. I'll show you what we do next so you don't have to sit here and watch this. But that's what a rolling boil is, just so you know. All right, we are down to 23 seconds. Tommy was nice enough to take over because, let me tell you, with fibro, your hands tire out and get achy easy. So, like I said, be careful when you're stirring this because it can pop on you. Or you can fling it out of the pan. All right, there's your four minutes. You're gonna have to, he's gonna have to move. <laughs> All right, I needed him to move to the other side so I could better take, get all the ingredients in. So here are the 12 ounces of chocolate chip. I think there was like 12.1. <laughs> <There. laughs> Alright, marshmallow cream. Yep, that is semi-sweet, alright. <laughs> That's why there's three cups of sugar in the... I reckon. Ew, I guess I should turn the eye off on the other side because I'm burning my arm. So good. If a person had armpit hair, <laughs> they'd be asking the emergency room, man, how did you burn your armpit? Well, it was on the stove and don't ask, dream fudge or whatever. Fantasy fudge. <laughs> fantasy fudge. Is that like fantasy football? You pick the best parts of fudge and you put them together and see how they look. Like. and then he sticks it in his mouth. Mm. You can't resist marshmallow cream. Okay, a teaspoon of vanilla. Yeah. Actually, I think it said a half a teaspoon. Let's see, no, I'm good. Um, no, one teaspoon, okay. So now we are going to, whoa, try not to burn ourselves. You're just gonna stir this until everything is melted. <coughs> your chocolate chips are melted. Your fudge is melted. I mean, your your fudge is melted. <laughs> oh. And just a word of warning: when I was stirring, I did get a little too fast and splashed a few drops out on myself. Yeah, not a fun thing to do. Oh, this is this is work. You're gonna want to keep um, stirring it until you. Yeah, he's gonna take over for me. You want to keep stirring it until you get like a a sheen. Like from Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. 
Anybody ever watch that cartoon? I did. <laughs> So I have to share, we go to the Dollar Tree the other night and there's this little girl working the cash she register. Little. She's probably in her early 20s. I doubt she was that old, but anyway, you know, did you find everything? And I said, well, I would have liked to have found the Mystery Machine van and the little Jetsons car that's out. So she hollers at the manager and they don't have it and they haven't seen it and they don't know what they're going to get. But anyway, she starts talking about cartoons and she's like, yeah, that's my childhood right there. And I'm thinking, uh, Scooby-Doo was more my childhood. <laughs> yeah, Scooby-Doo wasn't even my childhood except for reruns and possibly um, Scrappy-Doo or whatever it was. But yeah, she was going on, and then we stood there for a little while talking about cartoons like Powerpuff Girls and Car uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog. And Yeah, I watched that in high school. <laughs> oh. And I was like, I was leaving, and I was like, she was like, Wild Thornsberry, and I was like, Rocket Power. She's like, yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> as told by Ginger. <laughs> So anyway, we made a friend. Yeah. Doesn't hurt to have friends. They tell you about stuff's in the back. Yeah. Is it losing its sheen at all? Yeah, it's, I mean, getting the, you know. <clears throat> yeah, try really putting some muscle in and stirring it fast. Okay, I think it's it's getting close to where it should be. I'll take back over. We're old, we have to take turns stirring the fudge. <laughs> Good thing you should get a workout before you eat this fudge. Alright, we are going to pour it in the pan. Oh, I thought you were going to say our mouths. I'm not opposed to that. <laughs> Who out there when they're going by a Krispy Kreme and they see the light on wants to see if they can get a ride through the frosting conveyor belt? It'd probably kill me, but what a way to go. I'd like to jump into a vat of melted chocolate at like Hershey's or something. Oh. And they would ask me, how did Amy drown? And well, she drowned in that chocolate over there. She couldn't get out. Well, I got her out three times, but she kept jumping back <laughs> in. what it looks like we tried some out of the pot and we really liked it we hope you'll try it um, be sure to stay tuned for more um, baking candy making recipes to get you ready for the holiday season and be sure to like comment share subscribe hit that bell so you never miss a video and we'll see you next time bye